Hi there, this is Valentine and welcome to another Postman tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how you can import a WSDL file in Postman. And I have to tell you for a long period of time this was not directly possible. You had to create your request from scratch or if you had SOAP UI you could essentially copy paste the request from there and have them in Postman. But now you can import an entire WSDL file. So let me show you how it's done. I'm taking as an example this super simple calculator web service and what we're interested in is to get the WSDL file. So this is available here under service description and you will see here this is the WSDL file describing the entire web service. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this address and by the way you will find links in the video description so that you don't have to type anything that I'm showing here. Going back to Postman I'm going to click here on import and I'm gonna go to link and here in the link I'm gonna simply put here the link to the web service. Click on continue and you will see here that the format is WSDL and this has been converted from WSDL in a Postman collection and will be imported as a collection. So, so far so good, no errors there. You will find here inside your collections the collection that was generated I'm not sure why this temp URI appears here as the name of the collection. Feel free to change it in whatever works for you. And you'll see here two folders because this web service uses SOAP in two different versions. They're essentially the same thing. The most important thing is now you have this request already created. So for example, if you're looking here at adding numbers, you will see here also an example, but looking inside the body, everything it's prepared for you so that you can start using it. So I'm going to simply go ahead, click on send and you'll see here the response is 200. So I added 100 with 100. The response is 200. If you want to learn more about how you can actually write API tests for XML responses, I'll link you another tutorial at the end of this one. So make sure you watch that one. But in this tutorial, I just wanted to let you know about this import functionality which is absolutely amazing if you're still working with SOAP. Hope this was useful. Give this video a thumbs up and see you in another tutorial.